Right, we're mid-installation of a zip system here, and this is a great time to be able to talk about this product uh, and the importance of doing a proper building envelope. Uh, in the past, and you'll see it in some other videos of ours, I'm sure, there is another way to sheathe and do the building envelope uh, where it's not zip system, and that's when you're gonna see uh, like a particle board or um, plywood rather on the exterior, and then you're gonna see like a, a tie part product, so like a tie back or house wrap on top of that. Uh, what you would be doing if you were doing a siding house like this with that sort of installation you would then have a foam a rigid foam installation on top of that uh, and then your siding would go on and that's to get that R value for the insulation for the house what makes this product really great is you can actually have a look at the cross section here so this right here this is an expanded foam or a rigid foam that's actually built into the SIP system panel so this is not actually separate this is actually glued to this panel you can see the thickness of the panel there. That's your standard thickness for the sheathing. And then it's got this green color. Uh, this green color actually serves as the vapor barrier, air barrier, like a tie par would. So this is all built in into one piece here, meaning that you're not doing three separate tasks where you normally would, where you're normally gonna do you know, your sheathing, then you're gonna have your tie par, and then you would do your forager foam insulation on top in preparation for siding. You're eliminating two of those steps, compounding and then just putting the sheathing on that's already got those two things built in. And what makes this a great air barrier system is that now afterwards, the next step in this is we're gonna go through and there's a tape that's gonna go on here. Uh, and people will debate all the time about, do we use a roller, do we not use a roller? We are definitely on the side of using the roller. We always use the pressure roller. So that tape's gonna go on across here. Any of the seams that you see, that tape is gonna go on and get rolled on. Within the window sills, there is like a butyl tape. It's a stretch tape membrane that's gonna go around the whole window gasket, the whole outside that's gonna cover here and then wrap around into the corners, creating that seal there as well. And on corners, there's a nice big, uh, bigger version of the tape for the seam tape here that goes around the corners and wraps around. Uh, several inches over into the side and those are going to be the next steps and that's going to create that air barrier it saves a lot of time it's a little bit more of an investment in terms of material but it's going to cut way down on your labor hours for installing this and in general we just find it to be a better product and the data does back that up when they've done testing uh, on the product smoke testing uh, etc has a great warranty and this is what we're using for professional installations now and we believe should be the standard hope that's informative have a great day folks